No, the actress. Oh, the old, the, the old one. I do think Type Lumina is very good, though. Don't get me wrong. It's a pretty game. Mm -hmm. I, dude, I've caught on to so many games this weekend that I just did not think like I had a passion for. That but that happens at, at Frosty's. Frosty's is the most tournaments. Combo Breaker has the most tournaments of like that particular production budget, but Frosty's just has literally the most tournaments. A ton of them. And one it's of incredible. Them, one of them is indeed Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the <laughs> Nintendo Switch. I love seeing the Ricochet charge shot bouncing off a shield and resulting in, in some damage, but yeah, we are going to see uh, Atata and Raven King versus Damuchi and Connie, the winner's finals right now, seeing who is going to end up in the grand finals winner's side. Both of these teams look really strong in winner's sevens. Don Muji and Connie showed a little bit of weaknesses I had mentioned in our, our commentary previously. It's like they, they clearly seem like strong players, but they just quite have the doubles formations down. However, Oh, oh no, that was a team kill. Connie forward smashed his teammate over to the, to the right side. It's kind of the things I'm, I'm saying. It's like, they're just a little off the mark. In there. I, I, I want to see how they tighten up versus this particularly veteran doubles team of Raven King and Attack. And again, like you said, you know, somewhat static uh, and definitely two of the best players that you're going to find in the region at all. But yeah, so far, I mean, going dead even blow for blow, uh, the green team is. Also, very appreciative to these players that they're actually sticking with the colors that actually match their team. Yes. When people don't do that, I'm just like, I'm not going to commentate your match correctly. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to yourself. That is a uh, unforced error. Indeed. Okay, yeah, flying right back. Atata always going to be aware in those scramble situations. Sort of the prototypical scramble ness. Kind of the first one that I think of. And the, and the fact that he's so good in scrambles means he can be the stock tank on his team, even though he's not the heavier one, right? We're seeing him at three stocks, 130, 140% for two very violent characters on the other side. But he, just the fact that he is so good at being aware of avoiding ah. those kill moves. Although, when you get grabbed by a Charizard, I mean, what are you? You, you are mega devil. What are you, yeah, what are you going to do? And it spent so long sandwiched in between both members of the green team, but down goes Damuji's second stock. Things looking up for the blue team right now, but it's going to be up to Raven King to hold on to this one for a while. Raven King can as well. It's, it's playing around those slower moves. Con Kami hasn't really been the bursty character on the green team. It's definitely been Don Muji, the one that's pulling out the burst options. And so, like, if Connie's in your face, you're not really afraid of any of that. If the Pokemon trainer's in your face, you can just sneak away. And that, that is what Ike is doing here. But all of a sudden, as soon as the Ike dies, it is now three stocks to two. Although these two stocks on the green team are quite damaged. Yeah, it could be very easily seeing them both gone, even at the same time. And that is exactly almost what happened. Still, though, Connie and Inflation both holding on with these heavy character stocks, man. I mean, even oh, that death is enough, but I love, do I love that from Raven what? King? Uh, okay, well, I mean, I mean, Atat is a god, so if you, if you trust Atat to be a god, maybe? Trust in your friend, perhaps. I mean, all it takes is one backer on this Charizard, and then you're in a 1v1, or just take the Kasuma Kiryu, let the guys beat each other <laughs> up. All right, Atat knocking that Samus back into the corner. We've seen him do these matchups. I mean, I don't know. I feel like Atata has got this kind of matchup on lock, especially that you threaten the charge shot. It's not going to be able to be used. It's just that all-encompassing neutral tool because Atata has been using a lot of that side magnet just to make up space. And that side magnet is so valuable versus, like, the floaty versus floatiness of it. You can just turn momentum around in a flash, whereas Connie has to a little bit commit to those momentum options, right? Oh, okay, that was a nice, nice charge shot. Love that, just Sneaking buy, yeah. In. Buy yourself some space to get back on stage. Did not hold the side magnet out long enough to absorb the bomb though. Man, Connie keeping this real close. And now this, this slow methodical play that maybe was costing Connie a little bit previously in like the aggro of doubles is working out for him here. Oh, sneak by the bomb and roll up. But the charge shot, I don't believe was fully charged, and that's going to allow Ness a little bit more time in this lead trap spot. All right, Atata off stage. No double jump either. Aggressively flying down with that forward air, though. 
And Connie connecting the forward air himself. Not enough, though. This ledge trap has been like a minute long. Yeah. So what happens? A floaty character against Samus at the ledge. Ooh, are we up the... even able to drift away? It was a 50 50. The patience from Atata Doink. was so nice there. Dash attack. I was just about to say, you got to watch out for the dash attack. And Atata did that indeed and immediately got the whip punished with the back here. So tuned into what the wind conditions were, played around them beautifully. That is a veteran Ness that you are seeing in that one versus one situation. Not at all falling victim to like the, the ledge trap shenanigans that are so common for Samus's, right? Like just patience, just knowing when your best option is just to re-grab the ledge and like reset and then wait for the, the, the whiff of that opportunity. Man, Atata played that so well in the advantage, in the disadvantage, all the way around. And Raven King put his trust in him too, right? Go. Then we saw that, you know, kind of SD off stage with that Aether, but guaranteeing that stock to bring it down to that 1v2 where all you had to do is take care of the Charizard. The Charizard did get taken care of, and Atata showing off, like you said, uh, able to be trusted even. Oh my god. Look how gosh. disruptive Atata is off the stage, even when he's not off the stage. It was the PK Thunder that set that up and forced the Pokemon switch. The inflation was just not in the correct position yeah. to go for that recovery. He had to reverse the Charizard up and didn't. didn't. didn't yeah, uh, definitely a recovery that should have been made back, but in the heat of the scramble and trying to deal with the PK Thunder flying around you, you know, I get that it can be pretty difficult. You want to get the best spacing, but Damuji is able to make up for it pretty quickly. Fires right back at Raven King. But once again, we see even if those stocks are even, boy, the percentages are not. Yeah, it's great damage output. And yeah, you, you get all the time in the world to apply those grapple hits and then allow the Ness up smash to KO. Oh, look out, Damuji oh, with no. another SD. This is going to be a 2-0 lead for Atata and Raven King very shortly, unless Green Team starts getting something rolling, get some of those crazy stocks of their own. And, you know, honestly, when you've got Ivysaur on your side, anything is possible. But another SD from Don Muji three times in one game, leaving Connie all on his lonesome to try to clean up this 1v4. I need six stocks to beat Raven King in a 1v1. Yeah. <laughs> so good luck. And we've, we've seen Connie do well before, but I mean, I think I think this is a game three waiting room right now. Yeah, you know? Here, let, let me try this again. Okay, hang uh -oh. on, hang on, hang on. Waiting for it. I'm, I'm hanging waiting on. For it, waiting for it. I'm with the bated breath, sir. <laughs> Oh! Ah, wow! <laughs> that that ignition was so close. Great evasion. I love turning. I love turning around the Aether. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Cal calm down, Atata. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I've six years of this game, and I've never seen a thing such as this. <laughs> They're so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I. I can honestly say I've never seen that before. I've never seen that. Before. That, that was that was so goofy. Uh, Raven King is saying that's because I sucks. I think that's because Samus is like goofy goober. <laughs> I, it must have had something to do with like being in like the bomb state. I think it might have been like a in the bomb state hit stop. Oh, we got the replay. Corner. We got the replay. Hang on. It, it was yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. As Samus is turning into a bomb. That's one of the goofiest visuals I think I've seen in the lifetime of this I think game. I think it's funnier that Raven King taunted immediately. <laughs> and then like, it just didn't do anything. I'm, I'm used to it. That that looked like I'm trying to place it. It's like it's like something was clipping in Gary's mod and he just poke <laughs> it and it just goes. It's awesome. Well, that's like some of the Tears of the Kingdom physics interactions. Yeah, where for it's sure. Like, wait, that sent me where? <laughs> I, I have been down like a YouTube rabbit hole of Tears of the Kingdom weird physics things lately. So. Shout out to P Jiggles. <laughs> One of the best YouTube channels out there for that kind of stuff.
All right, we are in game three, by the way. Atata and Raven King, despite the silliness near the end of that game, did clean it up pretty easily. Up to nothing. Just need to get one more to secure their ticket into winner's side of grand finals, where I think everybody kind of expected them to be. But, you know, aside from all the SDs in that game, too, if you go back to game one, Damoji and Connie putting up a really good fight. Yes, indeed. Uh, they are... They have the opportunity to do so. And, and Connie has shown, like, that that's particularly in the stock tank role. Like, it's a question of if Don Moody's aggression is going to pay off. And there are definitely opportunities to do so against the lower tier uh, character that Ike is playing. And, you know, Ness is just pretty gimpable on the sides in general, particularly with like, the large hitboxes that Ivysaur and Charizard represent. Dash back. Man, Raven King doing a great job of avoiding all of these charge shots. Meanwhile, Don Muji doing a great job of holding onto the stock, but Atata deep off stage. That Ivysaur does have the double jump, but even then, you're not out of danger. Yeah, you gotta find like the perfect time to delay your Vine Whip to the ledge. And it's going to work out here for Don Muji because he's able to get the roll behind Raven King, get the forward smash as well. Oh, be careful, that will hit the platform, but Connie just stopping it all in its tracks with that charge shot from the corner. Don was so confident too. Don was just standing there that, like, that's not gonna hit. That killed Connie. I, Connie was lower percent, I feel like. Yeah, that was just to make up for the last game. <laughs> it's just retribution. All right. The game giveth, the game taketh away. It's like, it's like an umpire missing a call, and he's like, all right, <laughs> I'll give you this one. <laughs> Two feet out of the zone, but it's a strike. Who cares? I accept your uh, your terms. Let's call that the Joe West. <laughs> the Joe West. That's the Joe West classic. Connie going for that Zare off of the left side. It did not quite map enough to use the KO. But. Uh, two? No. Okay. I wanted to see two, but Ike's not built like that. This is not Nick All-Stars Brawl. No. It's really not. It could be, though. For an infinity of reasons. <laughs> this, uh, I heard about Plankton having an anti-air where he just goes, Stop jumping! <laughs> and then he just like reaches up and grabs you. Oh, Connie got the double, but one of them was on his teammate. I want to see Connie fish for whatever that interaction at the end of that last game was again. His teammate will no longer jump. In nice. In Plankton's wishes. Love that drift off stage, but man, blue team playing tight with each other, making sure that, hey, if you get hit, I'm right here to get your back, buddy. That's veteran team stuff, right? Like, jab one, jab the other way. That's, that's the get his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just start punching. Oh, Honey able to evade, but for how long? The answer, not enough. Atata and Raven King cleaning up with a 3-0 in winner's finals. They'll be sitting on winner's side of brands now. We'll try this again. Mm -hmm. Green team dropped the ball harder than Seiya Suzuki in game 160 versus the Atlanta Braves. When the playoffs were on the line. The playoffs were on the line. They were on the line. It's true. And you didn't make it. I don't remember what that's like. <laughs> William Buckner doesn't ring a bell. Frankly, I don't. No? no? That wasn't on my team. Huh? Okay. Yay! This may shock you. I was not alive in 1986. Most people weren't. Now, I could be lying, but that would make me some sort of 